and I got super defensive and angry. And I was thinking about it this morning as I was riding on my bike about how that was not my finest hour. That was not my best communication. The two beers probably did not help. Oh, you caught me. I'm looking at all the variations of the Myers-Briggs assessment just to get a better understanding of what they say your personality type is. And it actually leads to this month's good question, which is a good question that was put forward to me. How does what we discover about ourselves on Myers-Briggs or Insights or any other personality test really impact our ability to connect? We may have some that actually say we're introverted, we're extroverted, we are people people, we are natural born leaders, or uh, we're better to be hidden way, way in the depths and the bowels of our corporations, uh, cubicle jungles, never to talk to another soul. <laughs> the problem with assessments, in my opinion, is that people put too much stock in them. I know that there are some companies that I have worked with that actually require everyone to go through some level of assessment so that they can determine from a baseline perspective who they're working with. I completely understand and appreciate the reasoning behind it, but you are not your assessment. Yes, at your core, there could be elements that you certainly could look at that could be uh, teased out, maybe a strength or a skill set that you didn't realize you had, a natural tendency in terms of how you display your personality, a way for you to understand a little bit more about how you're wired. There's nothing wrong with these assessments, but I've actually taken the Myers-Briggs, gosh, half a dozen times, and I've never once got the same result twice. So you have to take all of those results with a grain of salt, right? That may be how you are in that particular moment on that particular day when you took that particular assessment. But the question is, how does this affect our ability to connect with other people? Does it give us confidence or, um, you know, if it leads us down a path that maybe we're not good people, people, should we believe it? The answer comes down to this. You can use this as a baseline of understanding sort of your personality type, your energy level, your approach right now here in this sort of space that you've taken the assessment, but how you are or how you show up on one of these personality assessments is not necessarily reflective of how you actually can and should show up out there in the world. The high water mark for anyone, extroverted, introverted, is Am I doing good? Am I connecting at the most effective level? Am I leaving everybody better for interacting with me or worse? And when you make and perform that self-assessment yourself, you don't need a personality assessment to determine, uh, yeah, I could be better or I could do things different. I was thinking last night, I had a conversation with my wife. Um, the two beers probably did not help, um, but it was about a serious family matter that's occurring with regards to my dad and handling of a, his affairs by a family member. And I got super defensive and angry. And I was thinking about it this morning as I was riding on my bike about how that was not my finest hour. That was not my best communication. My wife's trying to put it forward uh, to have a discussion and for us to talk about certain things. And I did not handle it well. The value of understanding, however, and having sort of self-awareness, enough so that you see these things happen when they happen, is the value of understanding who you are at your core. And me recognizing this morning, yes, it took 12 hours for me to figure this out, that I could have done a better job communicating. I could have been less angry. I wasn't angry towards her. I was angry at the situation. Frustrated, not so much angry, but and, and really definitive in terms of how I came across. If anybody was the outside observer of that conversation, they would think, man, that dude's an ass. He just digging in, he don't care. It's like, you know, just uh, really, really aggressive. And I wasn't intending to be so, but that's how I came across. Not my finest hour, but that's a microcosm look at, or microscopic look at who I am and what I'm about in that moment. And that's kind of like the personality assessments. So I think really the high water mark that you strive for 
is not to put as much stock in these personality assessments as you think you should. Use them for good and use them to know more and understand more about yourself. And if you have questions, then go back to whoever conducted the assessment to get more of a debrief and understanding. Uh, there are great assessments out there. They're great understanding, uh, great for understanding who you are and kind of what you're about, kind of how you're hardwired at the moment. But as it comes to connecting with other people, you don't need an assessment to know you don't need to be a jerk. Steve, I'm looking at you. In moments of stress, in challenging situations, when there's a problem or an issue that needs to be resolved, do what is right. Treat people with respect, with kindness, approach it with every bit of best intention as you can and you will have better outcomes than you probably expect nine times out of the ten. Doesn't matter whether you're an ENG, TV, Vi, ZA, whatever your assessment, you know, I don't know what you even call that, anagram, I don't know. Whatever that is, just know that it's a good human and it's a good rippler that it doesn't really matter what your assessment says. We already know what you need to do to make a difference out there in the world. And I, for one, this guy needs to get in front of my wife to say, I hear you, honey, you were right, I was wrong. I could have handled it better. I'm sorry. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. But thanks for the good question. Keep them coming. Let me know uh, what uh, good questions you have out there and we will cover it in a future episode. Is that what we're calling these? I don't know. Episode? Something. Good question email. That's what it is. There you go. Rip on.